Hello there, I'm Alger Hitler, and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn. We are playing as the United Kingdom, or rather I should say the British Empire, because we have brought back our lovely monarchy with Charles III, because Elizabeth II was not woman enough, perhaps, maybe. And we've invaded Egypt and beaten it down, suck it down, as Bob or Ben would say. We're going to take off all our fighters, which we do not need, considering, I was, it's funny, I was considering nuking them, and I uh, didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. Uh, so we do. We are still suffering some significant attrition. I don't really know why. All right, there we go. Awesome. It's just they weren't on uh, city areas. Okay, so next up we are going to be. Oh, so I have actually lost three marines. So that is interesting. I did actually lose three marines. What did we gain in terms of factors? In terms of resources, we gained. Um, but guys, in chat and Twitch, if you meant to say anything in chat, it will show up, which is kind of cool. We've actually gained a huge amount of oil, so we have no need to be importing oil anymore. We get a huge amount of steel. So there goes a lot of our steel imports, which is awesome. Uh, apparently, for some reason, we don't need as much chromium. Don't really know why. But this is awesome. Look at this. Okay, cool. Uh, in terms of factories, there is nothing there, nothing there. There's one civilian and one dockyard there. One, two, okay, so three civilian, one military. Uh, ah, four military, uh, eight civilian. Military, eight civilian. Okay, so we actually got a really healthy dose of factories. That is fantastic. Uh, and I'm gonna use that to big up my supply of mechanized units. Actually, no, I'm going to use that to big up my supply of fighters. Because I don't need any more of these bad boys. Because I would really like to try and get enough fighters going. And just kind of chuck in a bit more artillery here and there. And it does mean we're going to need more aluminium, of course, but that's okay. And a teensy bit of tungsten. We'll tell you what, let's not, let's not do tungsten because we're actually fine for artillery right now. So we'll take off that artillery we're using, and we'll add them to... How's my support? My support is low-ish. So in fact, I will put it on the support equipment. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to train an extra three divisions. Ah, I can't train them there. That's lame. Of uh, my lovely, lovely Marines. And I'm going to start training up some more uh, infantry brigades, which are my lovely. Those are just joining me in the stream, which is two mechanized, one light mechanized, and two motorized. The reason being is because, obviously, less production costs, and I can actually maintain them, which is useful. I should also be adding uh, probably recon company for that extra defensive bonus, but also possibly anti-air. But the tanks can really do anti-air themselves, so... Supply usage is nice too, but I think supply, I'm, I'm actually fine. I'm not really going to be over, giving overwhelming amounts of units. So I think I will instead put some recon company on there, because that defense bonus, the breakthrough, is super sexy. Gotta love that. Alright, so we're going to start recruiting a few more of our uh, infantry brigades. Awesome. Alongside that, I think a couple tanks might be in order. We don't need that one, but the uh, the normal armor brigade, which is in fact th two, two, three tanks, two mechanized and one light mechanized, probably my strongest unit that I have. It has an insane amount of breakthrough and soft attack. Um, we don't actually have maintenance company on these. Holy shit, we need a maintenance company. And also, we should probably have recon as well. Perfect. So that's a really nice, solid division, and I'm going to train a couple of those too. Uh, so then we, we do start getting a bit of deficit when it comes to mechanized, but also tanks. So tanks will take 1,268 days. Okay. The mechanized will take 102. So we are that tells me we have way too much mechanized and nowhere near enough tanks. So let's start chucking some stuff in our tanks right now. How's our light mechanized? Super good. Alright, cool. And we can also, to be honest, take off like a whole bunch of infantry equipment. Yeah. So let's just start producing like a whole bunch of that. And also it means we are going to need to import a shit ton of chromium. And a shit ton of steel, apparently. Alright, there goes all my hopes and dreams. That's fine. Uh, we're rebuilding all these lovely, lovely factories. We're continuing to build more factories. 
Uh, I have I'm building a shit ton of nukes, which is awesome. Uh, I am now going to grab and put these guys right here. I'm also going to take the convoy escorts and put them back in Alexandria and make this their home port. Awesome. And then, because we can go through the Suez Canal, we're going to get naval superiority over India and invade through there. Because to be honest, it's very easy to do. Uh, we have our two naval ports, which is great. In fact, oh, military access. One of military districts has brought the most shameful display of military insubordination and lacking discipline. Stability decreased by plus two and political power. Or not an issue to gain manpower. I have no need for manpower, so stability and political power, please, always. Let's just try and get as many tanks as possible because I would really like to have those tank divisions because they're super good. And if I can just start filling out my units with tanks, I'll be really happy. Obviously, mechanized is not great, but in 98 days, it'll be repaired, as will my support. The tanks is another story, but it'll be done pretty soon, I think, as well. I have 5.6k infantry. If I want to kind of upgrade my, um, my marine brigades, because at the moment, they're actually quite weak. So I'm considering adding uh, another big block of marines. And that would give me a ridiculous deficit of infantry equipment. Jesus Christ, never mind. All right, there we go. So we're going to carry on. we got a lot of political power. Kind of not doing much. Again, colonial outposts, which is good. We do not need population, which is great. Very pleased with that. I've never converted civilian to military factories. I've literally never done that. I don't know why I ever would. Because just balance it correctly and you don't have to. You're always going to be needing civilian factories to construct more stuff. Unless, of course, I mean, when the war starts, I guess perhaps a little bit less so. But I, I always prefer to keep them around, you know? Um, I guess I can continue to get more offensive uh, value stuff. So, retrenchment, armor, artillery, concealment. So commando specialists, special forces are actually marines. So that's actually a good thing for me to grab. All right. Um, yeah, there we go. So we're basically just going to push into India. Their armed forces are very large. Uh, and they have a very large number of planes. About 600 planes. I do not have that. But I am building some. The aim is, however, to nuke the shit out of them. So we've got Gen 4 attack. So we are going to want to... Make sure we're caught up with everything. It's still 2005, so we can't actually get anything different. Apparently, nothing interesting happened in 2005. Apparently. Uh, da, 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 da. That's fine. These must be the heavy ones, though. Yeah, they are. They are. They are. That's fine. And we're just going to kind of keep getting the maintenance company. Beautiful. Yes, we have outdated production, but that's okay. There we are. We're building a lot of the multi-role fighters, which are, of course, the standard. Basically, just like the standard fighters in Millennium Dawn. They're the fighters. Yes. And the maritime patrol aircraft is good, too, but we want the multi-role fighters mainly. Uh, and tactical bombers are good because they can do that dank bit of close air support. Um, yeah, that's fine. However, we can't build many of those. We actually kind of want to make sure I'm building a couple of those as well. Because at the moment, I am not. And that's not cool. Oops. Ooh, I hope you can't hear those noises outside. Uh, so I'm going to turn off one bit of mechanized. And then put it back. There we are. Whew, there's a lot to manage in this, you know. Alright, battleship organization. Yeah, naval A organization. That's good. That's going to help out our navies. What's their India's navy like? Uh, they have about 30 ships-ish, whereas I have about 90, so we should be fine. Obviously, the bulk of them will go in uh, these two sea zones, whereas I will just put submarines around here to kind of grab them and stop them from being doing any shit. Awesome. As soon as the marines are done, I've transported them over, I will plot. In fact, I might plot to do the attacks now, actually. Okay, so we can only do one bit of naval invasion. That's not good. So if I went from there to, say, there, how does that work? Okay, they, they just go right through the Suez Canal. That's fine. 
Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, cool. So there's still 10 divisions each of my marines. Um, I think I kind of want more marines, to be honest. There we go. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good shout. Yeah. That's a good idea. So doing that's going to ensure that I have the ability to uh, create three a three-pronged attack. Uh, it's going to be a lesser one on the southern area, but that's okay. And use those marines to kind of form the bulwark. And basically what they're going to do is they're just going to stand in the line as the front line expands, expands and the tanks will take care of the rest. So that'll be fine. Very pleased with that. Uh, we're getting more and more factories produced, so we keep needing to import steel. I definitely think I do need to be producing um, or making more civilian factories because I'm going to start losing some gradually. Yeah, I'm going to gradually lose them, basically, which is unfortunate. We don't really need the infrastructure, to be honest, so let's just move the civilian factories up. The infrastructure is fine. No one's suffering any attrition, so that's cool. My voice is getting a bit raspy, so I do apologize, guys. Ooh, here we go. Let's press those up to max speed. And away we go. So mechanized is at a slight deficit, but that's fine. Support equipment is also a deficit, but that is doable. The tanks are another problem entirely. We can only really build one, but five extra tanks is bitching. I'm not even sure I'm going to need all those tanks, but it's going to be good to have. God, those convoys managed to escape. Nice. Because um, there is a genuine issue that, that uh, India might join a faction, and if they do, I could find myself at war with a variety of people that I don't want to be at war with. Uh, if I end up at war with Russia, it'll basically be a big naval battle. But they're trapped in this area, so it doesn't really matter. As long as I control this sea zone, I'll be okay. I just need to keep building ships, basically, which I am, which is good. Uh, they won't be able to get land forces, which is fine. So there's colonial outposts in Africa. Great. Um, what I might do is... So I have the war goals. They don't actually expire. So what I'm going to do is I will grab the store of the rot. Actually, when is the... So in 21 days, I get the next doctrine thing. So I will actually go down towards the next doctrine policy. Because it is going to be still quite a while before I have the chance to invade India. So that's path to Russia. That's interesting. Oh, fuck. No. They're going to make an alliance between the two. Please don't do that. That would be fucking awful for me. Please stop. I import so much of my stuff from you. So let's go up to the civilian factories first. So we're making them as the priority. New viewers, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm actually recording this for YouTube. So I'm in a little bit of YouTube mode, but that's cool. I definitely need to keep at least a few troops in uh, in England just in case. Because I mean, I may have sending basically all my army to India. Um, I think some kind of suppression might be smart. In fact, I might actually do that now. So we're going to duplicate this and we're going to call this go away rebels and it's literally going to be um, military police and cavalry because that means what's the suppression of these guys so yeah it's pretty decent it's pretty decent suppression nice yeah we don't need much this is the thing um, but that's fine just like three maybe like yeah, just like three, so that we can just kind of chuck them everywhere, all over India, to deal with any suppression or any of that shit. So we'll call that the go wearables, and they're going to have be the reserves. Excellent. We'll recruit those as and when we need them. Probably not for a while, but that's okay. Very slowly, the tanks are catching up to what we need them to have. Yeah, we have way too much light mechanized. This is crazy. I'm still putting the fucking light tanks for like no reason at all. Where is my where's my light mechanized? There it is. We do not need this. Let's try and get a couple more infantry equipment if we can. Because at the moment we are at 4.7k. I would like to try and improve my marines a little bit. Okay. Very 
very nice. We just got backhand blow. Before we get the next one, we will get an additional tech from somewhere else. Like that. Because we are actually going to get a doctrine bonus very soon. Anyway. Uh, what do we want now? So, I mean, I guess things like air, air superiority is really good. So, air safety. No. Bad weather. Air former. Night operations. I don't care about our experience. I just want air, uh, all weather, yeah, so no bad, so bad weather doesn't affect them. That's a pretty decent one. And I've kind of forgotten to take these, which we really need to do. Hopefully war exhaust, uh, well, war exhaust, but world tension is going, it's going down by 0.5 a month. And so it's gonna be about another four months or so before the world war starts. So it'll go down a little bit. I just hope that we don't get too much war tension from puppeting India. Let's hope so. So basically, like in the next episode, we will actually be declaring war on the Indians, and it's going to be going to be so fun. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to also make sure we do have some defensive units remaining behind. Because if I get wrecked, I will not like this. So we have these engineer brigades, and they're basically just like these kind of shitty units. They don't really do much. But they have some... Well, to be honest, I don't need the artillery. I just need... Some kind of defense. I guess these are alright. They're recon and engineer company. Basically, they just stand around. So maybe I should actually be building a few of those to defend in Britain. So how many points of naval invasions do we have here? Ready to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I need at least sixteen of those guys before I can even attempt to do anything, and I have four. So I think maybe getting 12 is going to be a good shout. Yeah. That's a good idea. And that will basically allow us to have like, um, basically just like a nice little defensive force and just chuck them all along here so they will defend the coasts if anything happens. And I mean, I think I'll probably also keep some tanks or something behind just in case, you know, in case any uh, fuckery going on. Don't want to get any of that fuckery. So far, everything's looking all right. No one's doing things I'm not entirely against just yet. Just got to get India. This is the thing. Curse you, social liberal party. You bastards. Durr. Okay, we actually have free dockyards as well, so... I'm kind of building everything I need to be building. Let's just build some more missile cruisers. No, let's build light cruisers. We need lots of light cruisers. Light cruisers are sexy. Give me that steel. Look at that. A whole basically that's an additional fleet right there. I might actually just keep that fleet in reserve and just keep the fleet that's down there. Because I do not want to suffer any kind of damage. I don't want to get caught in a surprise attack. I'd like to try and stop anyone invading me. How are we doing for supply? Pretty okay. So the infantry brigades just filled out, which is great. Uh, we're still short a lot of mechanized now. A lot of support. Uh, maybe we shouldn't be building these many troops. Well, it's still going to be quite a while before we get to the point that we need them, so it's fine. So let's just um, let's make these the last one. Z. Oh fuck! I'm building way too many marines. to join these guys and you need to join this little assault force how many are, how many are on this? this what oh it's this one all right there we go army doctrine and then we will use that to grab not restore the Raj just yet, but the Royal Army for recruital... No, 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 restore the Raj for a better idea, just so we can start getting it now. That's probably a good shout. And then the five Marine Divisions will uh, ready themselves. In fact, we should actually start sending these guys over as well. I mean, a part of me kind of wants to keep some behind, but I think I do want to go with a really strong force. 
and that's okay. Well, we all the ones, to, all the tanks are going. We're going to keep some infantry ba guys back as well, just in case we get invaded, in case any fuckery occurs, and then we can just really super quickly annihilate any opposers. So the mechanize is going to take a little while, but that's all right. Uh, infantry equipment is fine. Support equipment's fine. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. The tanks will have the opportunity to get trained in time, most likely. Yeah, once so as soon as the tanks are done, I will move everyone out uh, and get ready and we'll invade. So probably sometime in February of 2006, we will do the invasion. And it'll be great, basically. Okay, first of all as well, this needs to stop. What is this? There's not That's not the right error. Air air assortment it needs to be 91 there you go i don't know what the fuck it was doing like doing the wrong type entirely like it's just stupid okay naval invasions are prepared our armies are prepared all right there's the next lot we're going to, need to give you a new general a new commander Mr. Zachary Brown, another naval invasion, onto Goa. Call it. Cool, and they're automatically moving. Love it. All right, so we'll continue this in the next episode, guys, when we are next back. Make sure to check out the other series I have on my channel, as well as that my Patreon, which you can find in the description below. Do be sure also to look at the other interviews from PDXCon that you've done recently, and as well as that my travel blogs, which will be in all my lovely descriptions make sure to leave me a like in a comment let me know what you think and what do you think of my awesome sexy plan okay there's a little bit too many troops now uh in terms of supply yes a bit too many we are just a teeny little bit of that supply that's okay so we'll continue that in the very next episode like i said i was Aldra hill and i'll continue to be with my mic and thank you very much for watching this has been hearts fan 4 millennium dawn playing the british empire Bye bye